The U.S. Army has officially named the XM-1299 Extended Range Cannon Artillery ERCA, the Iron Thunder during a ceremony at Picatinny Arsenal in New Jersey last week. Viewers may note that the ERCA program is one of five major programs that are part of the U.S. Army's Long Range Precision Fires LRPF, initiative. As per a recent Congressional Research Service report on the Pentagon's LRPF efforts, the Army says that longer-range artillery systems are needed to respond to what DOD calls the enemy anti-access area denial A2AD, environment, layered and integrated long-range precision strike systems, literal anti-ship capabilities, air defenses, and long-range artillery and rocket systems which can theoretically keep U.S. forces at bay and deny freedom of movement. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Iron Thunder of the U.S. Army is now the best artillery cannon in the world. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. Iron Thunder has been developed to counter the growing artillery capabilities of near-peer adversaries like Russia and China. Iron Thunder almost doubles the range of existing U.S. Army howitzers. It's capable of striking a target at 43 miles or 70 kilometers away with a salvo of M982A1 Excalibur guided artillery shells. This means that it outranges both the M109A7 Paladin, which has a range of 18 miles or 30 kilometers with a rocket assisted projectile, and M777, which has a range of 25 miles or 40 kilometers with a rocket-assisted projectile by a big margin. The U.S. Army had conducted the test at Yuma Proving Ground in Arizona. As per the U.S. Army, the system now holds the world record for precision strikes. This has been accomplished using a special gun and an optimized propellant. The ERCA cannon consists of an M109A7 Paladin Integrated Management PIM howitzer chassis with a longer barrel. The 39 caliber gun tube has been replaced with a 58 caliber 30 foot or 9 meter one. Viewers may note that in field artillery, caliber refers to the tube of the gun barrel as opposed to the diameter of the bore. The 155 millimeter diameter of the barrel is multiplied by 58 to determine the overall length of the barrel, which is equal to 29.49 feet. A longer barrel permits the expanding gases triggered by the shell powder to act upon the projectile for a greater period of time. ERCA uses a new supercharged propellant formulation designed to increase pressure inside the barrel. These two combine to provide increased velocity and range. The M982 Excalibur is a 155mm extended-range guided artillery shell developed during a collaborative effort between the U.S. Army Research Laboratory ARL, and the United States Army Armament Research, Development and Engineering Center ARDEC. The Excalibur was manufactured by the prime contractor Raytheon Missile Systems and BAE Systems AB. It's a GPS and inertial guided munition. A new variant, known as Excalibur S, has laser guidance which makes it capable of seeking and engaging moving targets. The S version has GPS and a semi-active laser seeker 
to get after mobile land and maritime targets in GPS contested environments without a loss in range capability. Raytheon stated that the Excalibur Increment B projectiles used by US Army and US Navy can be upgraded with the S capabilities. Sam Denneke, Raytheon's Land Warfare Systems Vice President, had said in a statement, Using artillery to engage moving targets gives soldiers more flexibility. Artillery is typically used to hit stationary objects, but Excalibur S expands the capability of artillery on the battlefield. Excalibur is used to minimize collateral damage for targets beyond the range of standard munitions. For precise firing within 150 meters or 490 feet of friendly troops or when firing in a straight line from the launching cannon is limited by terrain It has a multi-function fuse that can be programmed to explode in the air Once it hits a hard surface or after it penetrates inside a target One Excalibur projectile can accurately hit an intended target that could require the use of between 10 and 50 unguided artillery rounds. The idea is that the Iron Thunder would be able to fire and take out targets from a position that will be beyond the strike envelope of enemy systems. According to a June 2020 assessment from the Government Accountability Office, the U.S. Army plans on fielding 18 ERCA prototypes to a battalion for operational testing by the fiscal year 2023 with the effort projected to end in October 2023 to gather information for future ERCA increments though artillery is seemingly old-fashioned they are and will continue to play an important role on the battlefield in the foreseeable future an artillery barrage will keep the enemy's heads down and provide opportunities for the infantry to advance undercover Artillery barrages have also been known to have a physiological impact by demoralizing the opponent. It's cheaper and faster than air support and is now way more accurate as compared to the old days. It's evident that Iron Thunder is being positioned to play an important role in the coming days. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.